So you rented the house that you don't own to Miss Taylor. She gave you a $1,600 deposit. Yes, ma'am. And Miss Taylor changed her mind, doesn't want to move into the house, and wants her deposit back. You claim that she can't get her deposit back because you took the house off the market because she said that that's what a deposit is. You lose your deposit if you decide not to move in. And that the demands that she made with regard to fixing the property were unreasonable. She says they weren't unreasonable. She wants her money back plus a lot of nonsense, but basically she wants her money back. And you claim that she did some damage to the house while she was trying to do renovations to the floor. So you want, in addition to keeping her deposit, you want another $2,700. When did you start to rent this house for the first time, Ms. Bretz? To Chantel? To anyone. I believe 2014, July. And from 2014 until you accepted the deposit in April of this year, how many tenants did you have? One. And when did you first take control of the property? Was that in July of 2014? Correct. Who lived there before, do you know? The same lady that before Chantel moved in. And how long had she been in the house? I think uh, three years. So at least for six years, at least six years, the house had been rented. You yes. don't know how long before that. Correct. Is that right? Right. And you did no remodeling of the house when you took control of the house? I did not. And you saw the house yes, before you gave her the $1,600? Yes, ma'am. And that was sometime in April? Yes, ma'am. And when did you tell her that you weren't moving in? Well, the agreement was for someone to place down a deposit. And once a deposit was placed, she would send a team man to do all of the cleaning. So I gave her the deposit. The next day, I gave her an additional money to cover. I gave her, at first, I gave her a $600 cash deposit. No, you gave her $1,600 altogether. Altogether, yes. I gave her $1,600. Altogether, you gave her $1,600. Yes, ma'am. And when were you supposed to move in? May 1st. And when did you go into the house? I can't remember the exact date. In April. Like, yes, ma'am. And you started to, you took control of those because you ripped up the carpeting. Yes, ma'am. With permission. She gave you permission to yes, rip up the carpeting because the carpeting was probably disgusting. It yes, had probably been there forever. And she gave you permission. Who was supposed to pay for the replacement floor? The agreement, well, so I thought the agreement was. The $1,600 that I gave her was supposed to be used because I thought at that point in time she didn't have the funding to do the repairs that was needed. So I told her that we could use the money that I gave her, not making me responsible, but for funding reasons, we could use the money that I gave her to do the repairs that way I could move in. Ms. Taylor, when you move into an apartment, you give a month's rent and a month's security. That's usual. You saw this house, you wanted it. You wanted to start renting it on May 1st, right? So she was holding it for you. Mm -hmm. What would make you think that the $1,600 that you gave her was anything but rent and security? Because she pretty much was refusing to repair it. I thought maybe she didn't have the money to make the repairs. No, she wasn't going to make the repairs. She said, if you want to rip up the carpet, you can rip up the carpet, which you did. But what would make you think that she was going to take that $1,600 that you gave her for rent and security and not use it for your first month's rent and to hold a security? She was letting you into the house clearly mm -hmm. before your lease mm -hmm. started so that you could do repairs. Well, actually, I was supposed to just help clean. Fine. So did you do that? Mm hmm But you also picked up the carpet. Mm hmm because it was destroyed. It was disgusting. I mean, you had your choice. Okay. So did you have a written lease, by the way? We never made it to that so point. So you didn't... Is the house now rented? Yes. Month and date of the rental and to whom? To Jonathan. The month was May 12th, or the, I believe it was the 12th of May. For what rent? 700 And what was the rent that you were charging the plaintiff? 700 Did you replace the flooring? She lifted the carpet. Did we you... took all the carpet out. Yes. And um, we didn't replace the carpet, no. What did you do? You just left the floors? We left the floors. Left the floors. And Jonathan moved in in May, which is the same month she was supposed to move in. Correct. Correct. She gets a deposit back, $1,600. You have no loss. Now, as far as the money owed for damages to the floor, you just left the floors. Do you have any receipt or anything else? A receipt from a contractor. Anybody who did any work on these floors? I do. I'd like to take a look at it. When you picked up the carpet, Ms. Taylor, did you pick up the tackless and everything else that went along with it? In one room. What about in the rest of the rooms? I, we, I, never, we, I never got to finish. What is this? This for cleaning up the carpet, the padding, the tack strips, and the staples. 
the countercliff is dismissed as well. She gets a deposit back, $1,600.